Hello everybody, my name is Brantman19 and welcome to a brand new game and hopefully a brand new series for our channel. This is Empire Total War. It came out in 2009. It is a turn-based game just like all the rest of the Total War series and it should be pretty fun. Um, I have played a little bit of it. I've played through the campaign mostly, but uh, other than that, haven't really played too much of it. So let's go ahead and just jump in here. We're going to go straight in here to Road to Independence, which is the single player campaign. And we'll start with episode one, the Jamestown Colony. In April 1607, three Virginia Company ships sailed into Chesapeake Bay under the command of Captain Christopher Newport. They made landfall on the southernmost peninsula in the bay, naming it Cape Henry in honor of the Prince of Wales. Life for the early soldiers was far from easy, even though they ruled themselves. Newport continued to return to England for supplies, leaving Captain John Smith, an acquitted mutineer, in charge. With limited food supplies, the constant presence of disease, and the danger of attack by the native tribes, many of the settlers perished within a few months of reaching the New World. If this new community is to flourish, they will need food in the shape of farms and fisheries. A cash crop like tobacco will prove the financial viability of the colony to those back home in England and much needed income for the settlers. Complacency, however, is dangerous. The native tribes remain a threat. And just so you can all see, I'm keeping the difficulty on normal for both of them. And uh, let's just go ahead and start. There are some of these uh, little loading screens, but they're not too bad. I'm kind of excited about this. Total War series are great games. Our war on British tyranny begins tonight. In Boston, brave men fight for the right to govern themselves. Tonight, we fight for freedom. As I bear witness to the sacrifice of this generation, I take great comfort in the memory of our forefathers. Those pioneering men who traveled to these shores seeking a new life. Like the intrepid Captain John Smith and his fellow settlers, we too seek a new world. Not only for ourselves, but for future generations of Americans. As I look back on their endeavors, at the unknown dangers that awaited the pioneers over every rise and behind every tree, I am reminded that I play but a small part in a much greater story. All right, pretty cool little cutscene. Ready yourself, fire! Oh, looks like we've got a little battle already on our hands against some uh, Powhatan Stay warriors. Cover, men! And we've already pushed the first group off. Um, so again, I already know how to play this game a little bit, so I'm going to just They're get some men in different can. positions, get ourselves Stay ready here. And get ready to repel some more of these warriors here. They come again. They've only got little groups of 15 versus our like 40 and 25. And John Smith's right here in the middle. You can see him here. Now, we don't have the most accurate guns of all time. Uh, it is still the 1600s. And I don't even think really in the game there's very much accuracy anyway. It's not like a. Uh, Rifled guns didn't come out until the late 1700s, I think, so I don't see us having the best accuracy and being able to fire from afar very well. Watch the trees, man! Oh, they're attacking us on our flank over here. I think we'll be able to... Yeah, there's only 15 of them versus 40, or 36 now. We've lost a few men. On the right! Come on, there you go. Yeah, he's shattered. We want to get him shattered. Uh, broken's good where they run away with the white flag, but if they're shattered, they're not coming back. So we definitely want that. Here comes another one. I see... Yep, here comes their chief, which is their general unit. Alright, him. Oh, we need to toggle him and fire out will mode anyway. Come on, let's hopefully... Retreat. Yeah, okay. Stop your attack. There we go, they're all running away now. We just hurt their uh, chief a little bit and that sends them away. Alright, and that's victory. And it was decisive. So we deployed 105 units, they deployed 198. We only took 11 losses, that's awesome. Uh, but we killed 53 of them. So that doesn't quite add up right there, but still it's pretty cool. Alright. 
Now, whenever we go into a battle like that, that's what happens. From the very beginning, there have been hardships, irreplaceable losses, brothers, fathers, sons lost to war, famine, and disease. And yet our forefathers endured, refusing to give up on the one thing they all believed in so fervently, freedom. Those brave men built a future from an inhospitable land, taming it and making it their own. But the wild land was not the only threat. The natives were a constant menace, lurking at their borders, always ready for battle. It became obvious that until borders were clearly established, peace would continue to be elusive. Alrighty then. So Indians let there'll be a threat. But Jamestown's still gotta grow, so. You must lead the early settlers to establish Jamestown as a safe and prosperous settlement in this dangerous new world. From time to time, the British government will issue various missions to perform. As you complete these missions, the wealth and security of Jamestown will improve, and your influence throughout the whole of the new world will expand. Having survived the immediate threat posed by the native tribes, your settlers have already gained valuable combat experience. Okay, so in part of the campaign they give you like missions to do, little small stuff. Uh, so right now we have one to construct a building. It is, this mission was issued, okay, objective peasant farms. Your first task in the New World should be the protection of the Jamestown settlement and the survival of its people by building a farm in the designated area to the west of Jamestown. The colonists will be able to produce their own food and sustain themselves in the years ahead. Supplies from England are irregular and not guaranteed. You must make Jamestown self-sufficient in order for the fragile colony to survive. And I get a reward to 500 in my treasury just for doing that. So here it is right here. For, yeah, the farm... It, we just need to change this to peasant farms. The message box will inform you when this building has been constructed. Yeah, she talks way too much. Um, so it take everything takes like a turn or two turns, and you can see the counter right here. It's gonna take one turn to get these peasant farms done. Uh, obviously here's Jay, uh, here's John Smith, and he since he's the general. At least these are all of our units right here. Our Jamestown colony. There's some other little small things uh, that we'll end up finding about more later, but this is really all that we have to worry about at the present time. So let me go ahead and change our turn one. And there you go. You see, building constructed, all completed there. Um, it just tells us about it. We did get our treasury reward for constructing that building. Then a new port emerges in Yorktown. And then now we have a new mission to construct a new building. It is the fishery. Taking advantage of the bounty of the oceans will help to sustain your growing population. Building a fishery on the eastern coast will improve the region's food supply and prepare your people for expansion into northern territories. And this will unlock chapter 2. So, as you can see, some more things popped up here. So let's look at this one first. This is Yorktown. It's a fishing, uh, fishery spot. And if I click this right here, it'll take two turns to get a fishery done. And I can look over here and see there's clover plantations. There is a choice of building types to construct in a resource lot. Yeah, she gets on my nerves sometimes after just to silence her. So there's a small cotton plantation and small tobacco plantation is the ability, things I can do here. This is for cash crops. I'm just going to choose small tobacco. There, It's not really going to give me anything since there's no real trading in this chapter. So we'll let that go along. Um, and let's see, it's going to take, what, two? Yeah. So we'll advance one turn here, and then one more, and now it's done. Construct the building, congratulations, yes, you complete the mission, and we have unlocked chapter two. Oh, you have successfully built a peasant farm and local fishery in the Jamestown region. Jamestown should now grow and prosper, so it's time to deal with the threat from local native tribes. Your next compulsory mission is to capture the village of Werewakamako deep into unknown territory to the northeast. Mm. Okay, so 
We are now given a brand new mission. We have to capture Wakamoko. Uh, to the northeast lies the Native America stronghold of Wakamoko. In order to expand your holdings in Virginia, the threat from this native settlement must be extinguished. Attacks on Jamestown and surrounding farmland should cease. Conquer Wakamoko in the name of the king. The settlement was home to the Powhatan Princess Pocahontas, a woman renowned for preventing the execution of Captain John Smith. And by doing this, I'll unlock Chapter 3. Um, I can look here, and I can see something important. The highlighted area represents... Be quiet. And see, I now I can see how far I can move John Smith and his army. And that's as far as this red line here. Uh, we are going here, so I'll start him going. Uh, oh, here we go. We can already see. Yep, we hit the border, and they want us to get some Colonial Militia, which is, of course, a great thing to do. Um, looking here, you can see some things about our, the units inside of these places. If I click on I can see for sure, but if you look here, there's they have two different little infantry groups in here. And I can kind of see that by these little golden bars here. The gray ones mean they have, uh, what, uh, like armed citizens and stuff like that. They'll arm up tribesmen in this case, but they're citizens in this later is villages. The capital Be quiet. And then you can see here I have some on Jamestown too, but if you see for us, we only have three units and three gold bars. So it's important to notice that before you go into battle. Um, I'm going to go here into Jamestown. I'm going to get seven colonial uh, militia. Tell her to be quiet. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I can only do six right now, but in the next turn I'll get the seventh. And I'll give them all to John Smith. I'm going to move him a little bit closer. He's not quite there. We'll wait a turn. Have been recruited. Left click to select Jamestown. There we go. So we do have our recruited unit. Clicking on Jamestown, we do have the unit there. I'm going to add... Oh, it's going to take a little bit. Hold on, it's telling me I can't collect anymore. Oh, I currently can only have a certain amount. So we'll let these... I'm going to do this first. Commence siege! Okay, so here's our battle deployment screen. It's basically just telling me, hey, you can go to war right now. They have 510 units to our 315. Uh, generally, that would be a bad idea to attack. But some of these units are just armed tribe, and they're like mobs. They are not really good. Um, what I am going to do is continue the siege instead. I could do an assault. I could have the computer resolve it for me. I could break the siege, or I could demand their surrender. I'm going to continue the siege. This is actually going to make some of their people die there. Um, like uh, some of their men who are ready to attack and stuff. It, it'll get rid of them. So let me go ahead and send this guy over here too. Just in case they do decide to try to break out, I'll have an even number of units for the attack. And continue that siege again. And now here we go. And they didn't decide to attack us. That's good. Um, let's go ahead and send another unit over. We have four more left to build. Or four more left to recruit. And this guy joins up. Continue our siege again. And we'll hit in turn. And they actually they went ahead and just gave up. That unlocked chapter three. Oh, you have successfully captured the village of Werewakamoko and are well on the way to reducing the threat to Jamestown. The condition of victory for completing this episode is to capture the village of Shakamax. Okay. Now, not every time they're going to give up like that. Most of the time, they're really not going to, um, as I found out. This is kind of more luck in the first one. Uh, we do have a new mission now. It is to capture Shakamax and... The last Native American town lies to the north in the foothills of the mountains. It is secure and well defended. Fail to capture this place and all you have worked for could be lost. By fending off the threat posed by Native tribes, expansion of the colonies becomes possible. With no, na with no danger of attack, immigrants from home will be more willing to come to the colonies to seek a new life. And the reward for this one is completing episode one. So that's all good. Um, first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and just repair this horse breeder. I don't get anything except for it will help uh, bring down the unrest. There is unrest here, and you can't see it right now because they just want you to keep pressing forward with the campaign. I unfortunately uh, don't really care about that so much. I just want to collect all of my units here for a later attack. 
have three more left, so three more turns and then we'll get moving. And we'll actually go ahead and do these. Alright, I think I have all three of them built up here. We'll go ahead and have these guys move in here to uh, John Smith and let him get a good look over them. Alright, and we can... Let's actually wait one more and then we'll move a little bit differently. Let's see, I don't spot any enemies yet. Alright, there's one right in front of us. Um, let's see... Huh. I guess we could go through with this attack here, so let's go ahead and do it. This might be a little bit longer episode than what I wanted it to be, but that's okay. Um, come on, let's. Yeah, Where there the we enemy go. The halt button in the oh. bottom right of the screen. Cancel. So I, it lets you at the beginning of battles deploy your units. Uh, unfortunately, this time by clicking that button, I wanted to kind of see more of the screen, and it tried to. Uh, it just went ahead and assumed I had my men where I wanted and started the battle. That's unfortunate, but they, you can see we only have four units we're against, and there's like nine of us. So what we're going to do is just spread out and get ready to try to just kind of capture them in here. Going to let all my units get into place. Come on, guys. Get in, get in where I need you to be. This is the longest part of a battle, though, is actually getting your men in perfect positions. Let's see, now there's only three. That fourth one's... yeah, he's just behind the hill. These guys are actually going up the hill. Um, I'm going to deploy two of these to come up He No, 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 no. I just want two of you. There we go. Gonna deploy two up on the sides of the hill. Like so. And then what I'm gonna do with these guys, we're gonna take them. We're gonna spread them out a little bit thinner. That's uh that's okay to do. As long as they have some men behind them. You don't want them to get into direct full one line mode. Even though that's all your guns to bear, uh, nobody can fill in the gaps. So if they happen to knock out you know, let's just say this is a one-line group. They knocked out all these guys. They could then stream in here and then destroy these guys. And then these guys over here would be a little bit more disadvantaged. Looks like we're already under... We're already starting our attacks here. Hopefully we can knock them back pretty quickly. Go ahead and make your turn, guys. There we go. And then the bowmen have already started up on us. Come on. I want to go ahead and have these guys run to their uh, spots. It's more important to me that no, they get there. The Alright, these guys have decided to press into us. We have a nice little skirmish line going. 108 versus about 175. Still a good battle. Okay, it looks like these guys are not going to continue pushing on us, so I'm going to turn these lines like so. Let's get Captain uh, John Smith and his band of men to roll over on these guys' side. We have shattered this enemy. We've still got these guys under attack. And starting, these guys are starting to waver a little bit. I hope that they don't... Uh, I don't want them just to break, I want them to fully shatter. And here these guys are up here, they're ready and in place. Now having them run like I did could uh, cause my troops to lose a status effect. They go from fresh to active to tired and wait, you know, tired and all kinds of stuff like that. So it's always good to keep an eye on that. Here they all come, they're gonna charge right at both lines. Not very smart. See, that guy's gone. These guys are battling it out. Wavering, wavering. Let's see here. I'm going to take these guys. We're going to... Oh, here they are. They're already broken and running. These guys are broken as well. 
large amounts of them are actually gone. We can tear into some more of the side over here. I'll feel much better. These guys up here should be getting ready to fall too. Come on guys, beat them back. Okay, shaken. Come on. Actually destroy them here. Go ahead and toggle melee, mo melee mode here. I really only use melee when they get uh, melee when they get close. Up, oh, they're broken. They're running. Everybody's broken and running right now. What hopefully we'll they shattered. Okay, and there's the battle. We beat them right there. A heroic victory. Proud and victorious. Let's see. So they deployed 540 to our 765. That was obviously a good battle on our end. They lost 475 units. We only lost 93. Remaining 65, uh, 672 on our end, 93 enemy killed, 456 is how many we killed. That's just saying how many we killed there. We did take some uh, casualties, so we'll have to fix that up here in just a second, which I'm going to do right here. Click on all this, these guys down here. I don't have to click on each one that, I have to click on each one just so I can hit this replenish, and they should replenish over the course of a few turns. But guys, we have reached our time limit on this one right here. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy this new series. I think I will. Um, I am familiar with other uh, Total War series, so I'm looking forward to uh, playing it and getting into uh, a kind of a different game style than what we have been playing recently. So, all right, guys, I appreciate you all so much for watching. I will see you guys next time.